The function e to the x is a special case of the more general exponential function b to the x. So where b is any real number, possibly e, but any other num real number. And the natural log of x is a special case of the general log function, log base b of x. So the natural log is just the log base e of x. But now what we want are derivative properties that will allow us to differentiate these more general exponential and log functions. So to find the derivative of b to the x, we would start with something very similar to our derivative for e to the x. So we start off with that function remaining essentially unchanged, just b to the x. But then we multiply by the natural log of whatever that base is. This is actually exactly the same property that we use to find the derivative of e to the x. It's just that this property simplifies itself a little bit. So the derivative of e to the x is really e to the x times the natural log of e. But the natural log of e is just 1. So this ends up simplifying to just e to the x. In this case, though, where b is some value besides e, the natural log of b won't reduce, and we just have to keep that piece in there. Similarly, for differentiating the log base b of x, we still get 1 over x, which is similar to how we differentiated the natural log function. But we need 1 over x times the natural log of whatever that base is. Again, this is the same property we use for differentiating the natural log function. We would get 1 over x times the natural log of the base, which in this case is e, which again just becomes 1. And so that's where we get 1 over x for the derivative of the natural or for the derivative of the natural log of x. So these are two just more general forms of those same derivative properties we've already established that we'll need to make use of whenever we want to find the derivative of a log function or exponential with a base besides e. So in this case, the derivative would be 2 times the derivative of the natural log, or I'm sorry, the log base 3 of x. So we'll get 1 over x times the natural log of 3, or 2 over x times the natural log of 3. In our last example here, we have the derivative of 29 to the x power. So again, that function remains completely unchanged, but then we multiply by the natural log of the base plus, now the second expression, we need a little bit of a rewrite. So we need the derivative of 6 times log base 4 of x. So again, using that algebraic properties of logs to bring that exponent down in front will give us 29x times the natural log of 29 plus 6 over x times the natural log of the base, which in this case is 4.